Hi, this is Art and Such, and today I have a rainbow loom tutorial for you for how to make a Jack Russell Terrier. This is for a sweet puppy named Taffy that I know. I've based this on her fur patterns with some brown on the top and some brown spots, but you can use whichever colors you like. I am using beads for the eyes, but I'll show you how to make it with bands as well. And I want to mention this is adapted from a design by the Yorkshire Puppy Design by Lovely Lovebird Designs. I'll put the link in the description for you, it's really good. So we're going to start by making the arms and the legs. I have three made, I'll make one with you and I'll get you to pause and make one more. We're going to take a single fur colored band, whatever you'd like your legs to be, wrap it three times on the hook and we're going to pull it onto four sets of double or two bands. So put these on the end, bring your rolled, your wrapped up band over, and put the other end back, try and keep it as centered as you can. I'm going to take a second set, two bands, put it on the end, pull the bands off of your hook, and replace this other end on, and two more times. Last one, you can leave these right on your hook for now if you like, or put them on the side or another holding hook, it doesn't really matter. Give them a little tug and straightening and you can go onto the body as soon as you're ready. For the body, we're in the offset position and you're gonna start by coming down with, these are all double bands, so two bands for each set. One set from the top center to the top right one set down from the top right to the second right, and one down from the second right to the third center. You're going to repeat that on the left side, so one set from the top, top center to the top left, one set down the side, and one set from the second left into the third center. And you can close up that middle piece with two sets. For the body, we're coming down from the third center to the third right with one set and come down four times on the side. I'm using um, a couple of sets of brown here just to make some spots. And from the seventh right to the eighth center, we come down once diagonally. This can all be repeated on the left side so down from the third center to the third left, four sets down, these are all doubles again, and one set down diagonally. You can pick the color you'd like for your belly, and we're going to use double bands again, and fill it in. Come straight down. I think I'm going to put my tail in here this time so it stands up a little better than mine did. So let's make the tail quickly. I'm going to make it a little bit, a little tight because this dog, I know Taffy, her, tight, her tail is kind of petite. We're going to take a single band, wrap it three times, and we're stretching out another band for our, of our tail color, doubling it over itself, putting it on the end of the hook and pulling over. We'll do this one or two times. You can decide on the length you'd like. If you do want your tail to be a little bit thicker and furrier, you can use double bands instead of doubled over bands. I'm gonna do one more. Now you have the option here. You can put this directly onto this bottom most center band after closing up this piece here. What I'm going to do, as I said, I want this to sit further to the back. So I will take two bands, put them on the end of my hook, pull my tail on top, and stretch this from my seventh peg in the center to my eighth peg in the center. So it sits right there. I'm going to, well, I'll turn it around afterwards. And we can put our arms on the third peg down on either side, and the seventh peg down on either side. Stretch it off your hook, take the loops off of your hook and press them onto those pegs. I'll 
hold it up for you in just a second to show. We are going to use a single band, wrap it three times, tighter if you like, and pull it onto, I believe it's just two sets of double bands. Once more, you can make it longer, floppier, tighter, looser by adding sets of two or by uh, tightening it up by doubling them over. So, this is a single wrap pulled onto two sets. This can go right onto your top side peg. And an ear for the other side. One, two, three. Onto one set of two. And another set of two. This goes on the top peg on the other side. We can make our nose. For the nose on my, on my taffy, my Jack Russell, I'm using black for the tip, wrapped three times. Maybe we'll do it a little bit tighter with four wraps. Add, <clears throat> it goes on to three of your next color. I'm going to use gray because Taffy's getting a little bit old. Although she has a lot, much of her youthful energy, which you'll, you'll understand if you know any Jack Russells. So that's three grays. And I'm switching to white here for the next fur color that I'd like. You can do these all in the same, uh, all in the same color. It's up to you. I'm taking five bands, so it's going to be a little puffy. I'm going to stretch them out, put them on the end of my hook, and pull my gray right on top. And then this goes onto two more white bands, and we'll be ready to attach it. Put all of these, uh, all these bands onto these two, and this goes from your second peg to your second peg. And we're gonna kind of pull this out a little bit. The last things we need are eyes and holding bands. We'll do our holding bands first. I'm just using white bands, and I'm gonna make with single white bands triangles. So coming across, starting at the legs, coming across from each peg to each peg, and raising it above the center peg. Having it as a triangle rather than just a cross helps incorporate the center pieces and makes it just a tiny bit snugger, a tiny bit more tight. So you'll have four, set, four single band triangles coming down the side, starting under the paws and going to the feet. For your eyes, if you are using bands, I'm just going to demonstrate with a gray hair. Uh, I'm almost out of black. I've ordered more, but it's going to be a while. So you would take your eye color band, wrap it three to six times onto your hook, repeat, and then pull this onto a fur colored band. So you would take both of your eyes, pull them, and press them over and you would attach it the same way that we're going to attach our beaded eyes. I'm using these two little round black beads. You can use pony beads. You can use bands. They look great. I just like the shine of these myself. To put the eyes on, I'm threading them onto a piece of dental floss, or you can use um, a thin wire like a twist tie. Get a band the color of your face and put that on the dental floss. Flip it over and push it back through. I believe I got this technique from Isalicious Designs. I can't remember. I've seen this done in a couple of places now. And we pull it through. The, the dental floss has come back through the eyes. And whichever eyes you have on the band, you're going to oops, stretch out the sides and put this from your top peg to your top peg. And bring your eyes to either side. And now we're ready to loop up. So 
So, oh, we need a capping band here because we haven't put the tail. If you do have your tail on this last peg, then you don't need a capping band. I'm gonna take a single racket about three or four times here just to have something to hold this all in place. Now we're reaching under that and we're getting the top two bands below, which should be coming upwards. It should be your tail piece. And you can loop straight up the center to the neck. So grabbing your bottom two pounds, you'll, you will want to loop upwards, bring your bands back around the peg, each set of pegs, or each peg that they, the corresponding ones came from. When you've got that center looped up to your third peg, you can come back and get the left side two bands from under that capping band. Be careful with it, it's a little tight. And we're gonna find the two bands at the very bottom. You might want to use your fingers to pull them up to the side to see them better, like so. We're going to keep looping up the side until we've done the arms. Push back your triangle bands as you go. And we want the two bands coming from above, from the center there. So push back, reach under, push back, and bring those up into the middle. Push those down a little if you can. And come back to the bottom, get your last two bands, and we're going to loop up the other side the same way. I'm going to go a little bit faster here, my video time is running short. I have problems uploading once I exceed a certain, a certain amount of time here, so I try to, I'm trying to get this as compressed for you as I can so that you have it all before you and don't have to jump around through videos too much. We need to find the top two bands here. So this is a little harder. I want to kind of pull these up to the side to see them myself. And we'll reach under the neck piece till we get to those bands. here because there are so many. I'm just going to turn this right over to the side and see if that helps. Okay, that loops up right over the nose and you can get that brown one, loop it to the top. And then we reach under for the next two and they go to the left side and we loop up, get the bottom browns, get these bottom browns, so push your hook through collect the bottom two and bring them to the center and the last two whites from under the neck pull them to the side and I apologize I realize some of you might be using different colors of fur so uh, so sorry if I'm saying white or brown at any given point here I'm trying to stay neutral once everything's looped up you can take one or two bands and pull them through all the bands on your top center peg one end over the other and you'll get a slip knot. This helps hold it together and we can carefully remove this from our loom. Pop up your tail, stretch out your stretch out your paws. We're gonna pop our eyes through to where we can see them and pop our nose out. This securing band can be hidden in the back. I'm actually gonna put it right through near the right through near the neck so that the head sits back a little further. I'm just pulling it under some bands here. Again, so it's not showing as much. It's one of the nice things if you do add spots and you have, as I do, a different color for your securing band, it, um, it won't stand out as much as a different color here. I'm going to put this on a C-clip and you can even leave it at the top just as a kind of a charm, charm band. 
them, but I'm going to hide mine as best I can here. And instead of having the slop around, I like to put my C-clip under a second band just on the other side here to hold it steady. You can stretch out your Jack Russell to stand or to sit. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave you. I'm sorry I'm all out of time. But there is your Jack Russell Terrier. Thank you for watching.